Ah, uh, yeah. Welcome to being snowed in at Steve's place. Uh, we had a huge dump of snow. We got the plows in and cleared it. Then it snowed again. And our little car just can't make it up the hill. So we're going to get it plowed uh, as soon as we can. And new tires on the truck. And we'll be more mobile. So I am camping in the yard tonight. I know it's not everybody's thing. So you can bail on this video if, uh, if that's not what you want to see. But next week we'll be up to the usual stuff. Out uh, traveling around. Provided there's no restrictions. So I got the summer gazebo tent. I'm going to set it up uh, right here. It's going to be pretty cold tonight, about minus 14 Celsius, which is around 7 degrees Fahrenheit. And like this is a summer gazebo, you know. This is more at a, in place at a beach in the summer than it is uh, out in the backyard in this type of weather. So we'll set this up. I'll throw in the heater and I'm going to see if it's possible to survive the night uh, camped with one of these uh, with basically screens for walls with little wind panels. So, let's see what happens. some heat in here. Mr. Buddy Heater. There we go. About 450,000 BTUs in this thing. Should do some toastiness for the long night ahead. When it's not used for a while, the propane leaves the hose in the pilot line, so you got to kind of let it run for a little bit to get the propane back out there. And eventually she will want to burn. If that can't come soon enough, uh, it's a little chilly. <laughs> Good, she lit. So once this is going, I'll move the propane cylinder outside because if it did get too hot, it would be very unlikely that this would get too hot in here to cause the tank to vent. But if it were to vent with an open flame here, uh, the tent would Hindenburg in like a second. So we don't need that type of a problem out here. I'm sure beautiful wife wouldn't be happy to look out the window and see that. Go there, guy. There, safe. Safe. Right. My favorite sleeping tool is a cot. Just like that. Easy pop out cot will get you through some slumbery situations, that's for sure. An awkward sitting device. And there. Close this and let the heat saturate this place. Things are going to be off the charts cozy, I'm sure of it. I sure hope so. With enough time, this buddy heater melts all the snow into like a perfect hexagon shape on the ground. 
Uh, but this is not exactly as warm as when I've used this in my ice fishing hut. That ice fishing hunt, very similar design to this, except instead of screens, it was all like polyester stuff. So this, it's bearable, but you're well aware that it's cold. Like I can still see my breath, but there's radiant heat I can feel on my legs and everything from, from this. So it's, uh, you, you really are aware that it is, uh, I'm going to say winter, even though that's not for another couple of months, month and a half, but, uh, Cheers, everybody. Uh, it's time to crack a step number two, because step number one has been accomplished of getting some shelter. And it is such a good feeling once you get the heat going, you get uh, the shelter set up, and I know it's gonna be very cold tonight. It's uh, well on the way there right now, but just having that big burden of worrying about getting things set up, uh, you know, just get it done first, don't turn step two into step one because uh, there was a bunch of memes about that this summer floating around online. Oh yeah. Peaceful out here. So fundamentals, um, yeah, the same sleeping bag I used under the bridge, same sleeping pad I used under the bridge, both incredibly bright, loud in color, but it doesn't matter here uh, very much. And of course a Woods brand. A uh, hammock underneath of it. This is an older one I've had for years. Um, still works just great. And that's, uh, it should do the job for the night. It'll keep, uh, I'll probably have to move a little closer to the heater to be honest because it's already feeling a little bit, uh, a little bit chilly. I'm going to throw in a few more layers of clothes because that's, uh, number one. But, uh, well, that's number three. This is number one, number two. You know how it goes. Yeah, that's melted a little bit of uh, snow around here. Which means it's time to cook up a little meal. And we got nothing fancy at all today. Because we're snowed in at home, I grabbed a small can of mini ravioli. And we'll dump that in the pan. We're going to try to make it more palatable. Because... Being around home, I got a bunch of spices and stuff I can put into it and hopefully turn this into people food. There we go. Oh, I can smell it already. There we go. Probably a fine time to mention I don't have any wild animals around here like bears or anything that would cause me concern eating in a tent like this. More likely the food I eat will kill me sooner than any wild animals. There's a big plug of frozen sauce at the bottom. Well, that makes all the sense in the world. Okay. thing is dealt with and uh, I'll find my stove attachment we'll get this cooking oh. Oh. I did not expect conditions to become that windy which normally they don't out here but way things go. It's, looks like it's going to tip it over again here in a second unless I do something drastic. But we'll get this uh, canned stuff heating up. Some extra ingredients need to be added to make this more than just the bachelor meal that checks off all the boxes. We're going to make this a little bit more gourmet. Dump a little balsamic vinegar. Can't go wrong with that. Probably a tablespoon worth. Give it a little more acidity. And along the lines of acidity, this 
squirt of lemon juice, small one. There we go. Because if you actually eat this stuff, it tastes like uh, ketchup or tomato soup or something like that. Pepper in there. I've got some uh, beef bullion concentrate, so it'll uh, give it a broth sensationness to it. Uh, not a whole lot, but a uh, little bit. Yeah, that was a bit. For sure. Alright, now. Yep. Some crushed chili peppers in there. A pinch should do. Yep. Now, when they originally make this, they leave out the oregano for some reason, so here we are. Oregano in there. Okay, so fixed up so far. You can never go wrong with liquid smoke, right? Yeah. This will probably dose it a little bit better if I do it this way. Yep, yeah, a little liquid smoke, give it some smokiness. And uh, garlic. Um, spoons over there somewhere but uh, we can probably get some garlic in there just free pouring it there we go a bit of garlic and for later I got uh, Finished her off with some freshly grated parmesan. So I'm gonna stir this up. Uh, it's uh, smelling less disgusting already. <laughs> that's that's great news. You know, that actually worked. <laughs> I did not really expect it to taste that good. But we're going to uh, toast up a little sourdough on the Mr. Buddy here. And there is a whole group dedicated to cooking and rigging these Mr. Buddy heaters up to cooking. I don't know what it is, but I've, I've got a few comments about it. Yeah, toast up a little bread. Yeah, this is going to be a, a decent one, I think. Not too shabby. Sophisticated Chef Boyardee. <laughs> yeah. For what it is, five thumbs up. That's all I can say.
The only downside is these uh, raviolis are a little bit uh, fragile. They break apart. However, much better than I remember as a child. Mm -hmm. About time to hunker down pretty soon here. I kind of realized the only way to really survive this is to bring the cot closer to this guy here, uh, the heater. Uh, this is a completely different animal than the ice fishing shack. That thing, I could be a lot colder than this and this guy would uh, really heat the whole thing up quite nicely. I, I would never be afraid for my life, but any colder than this, I really wouldn't try it with this setup. Uh, too many air gaps, and even these tent flaps on the outside, they they cover the outside, but they, they don't do a very good job of it. So, um, this is just an experiment, I guess, which is going to be hopefully, hopefully cozy. It was already borderline delicious, so that's a great thing. And I have to give a big shout out to all the people that have been donating to the cause, crowdfunding my midlife crisis because uh, I don't do corporate sponsorships, so everybody that's donated, thank you very much, and uh, we're gonna keep on going for you guys. Uh, that's just what we do around here. Um, so I got my big orange yellow caterpillar crawl in there, hunker down right away. Um, it is about minus 14 outside right now, in here, I don't have my thermometer. Depending on where you are, it's probably you know, probably around 32 Fahrenheit up towards the top. Down here, we're talking, um, it's probably minus five uh, Celsius. Uh, I'm crummy with my conversions. So that'd be in the 20s of Fahrenheit somewhere. So it's, uh, it's what it is for now. I'm gonna crawl into here. Thanks for watching along so far and uh, if I make it through the night without this thing blowing away uh, I should be okay. But wind usually isn't a problem around here. On a still night you really, I, I was not expecting the camera to tip over and everything to move around here. Uh, it's just unusual. I usually find just throwing a little weight on each corner on the edge with logs or a rock or something does the job. Cursed zippers. Just getting the base feeling of how cold I'm going to be. Uh, waiting for the sleeping bag to do its job. <laughs> Might be a cold one. Oh, I go. Yeah. There's no, there's no good option. I can either point the heater right at my face or right at my feet. Right now my feet uh, feel like they're going to need the help, so we'll just leave it right there. We'll see you guys in the morning.
that was doable. Uh, this is not the appropriate choice of structure for cold weather camping. The screen tent in minus 14, 15 Celsius conditions. That's pushing the boundaries of what this thing is capable of. But with the buddy heater, it was a pretty good sleep. I'd give it one and a half thumbs up. Uh, and maybe one thumb up. Um, I find I need a thicker foamy because I'm a side sleeper and on a thin foamy I just have to keep flipping over side to side all night. You probably will be able to see that in the time lapse. So that's uh, the issue there. If I had a thicker foam mattress, oh it would have been beautiful. I would have, that would be a two thumbs up sleep for sure. Uh, overall, yeah, it's uh, it can be done in a pinch, but there's better tents for this. So that's what we're going to do next time. And I have a big thank you to everybody because uh, we're at 400, we're over 400,000 subscribers now. So uh, I can't thank everybody enough for subscribing. And what I want to do is something special. Uh, we're actually packing up today's upload day. And if we can get up the driveway, we're going to probably ask uh, a friend to come and tow us up the hill so we can get into town. And I've got a vehicle rented until we can get ours fixed uh, and new new wheels on the truck, etc. So we're going to be heading into town right away so I can go sit under a cell tower and upload this uh, as well as uh, to get our hands on a four-wheel rental vehicle to get up and down the driveway. What I want to hear is uh, for a 400,000 subscriber special, what do you guys want to see? Because uh, special is going to be one above and beyond a regular weekly one that I try to get up on Thursdays. So if uh, if you got any suggestions or comments of what you'd like to see for a 400,000 special, uh, please let me know. And uh, please uh, subscribe, like, or comment, of course, if you can tolerate this type of um, camping, because uh, it's always it's always fun to, to read the comments, try to get back to as many as I can. Uh, it's going to be a long cold winter of trying to get through comments. Uh, if if I haven't gotten back to you, please don't take offense. Uh, but I literally have about 20,000 emails in my <laughs> inbox right now. Uh, and I'm hacking away at them bit by bit, day by day, because I don't have a secretary or like staff on hand or anything like that. It's literally like me with a laptop um, trying to manage all this. Um, <clears throat> Which is another reason I, I don't get involved with the corporate sponsorship dealies because that's just way too much to have to deal with. So it's uh, that's the way the channel is going for now. Um, thank you guys for coming along. It's uh, always a blast. And uh, I can't wait to hear what you're going to suggest for the 400,000. Um, once I uh, once I get them all like in the top, the top suggested ones I, I'll actually put that to a vote or something so we can see what we're gonna do <clears throat> but uh, lots of videos coming up once we get this vehicle we're probably gonna be heading down the road uh, depending on travel restrictions into BC because there's uh, a great place there we love to call second home almost and we're gonna be filming some videos up there so uh, it's gonna be some fun times coming up soon here and um, I have stepped back, uh, slowly stepping back from the furnace repair work uh, to get into more content and dealing with this channel. So it's uh, hopefully uh, things will be a little more stable on this end uh, and hopefully I'll, I'll be able to go back to fixing furnaces when the bottom falls out of YouTube here. So cheers guys and uh, we'll see you real soon. Thanks.